eyes and legs floating. I don't still have the thigh balls, but two of them. See? Right there. filters are very loud, so I have to talk in a much louder voice so you can hear me. But I can't turn my filters off if my fish will not like that. Hello beautiful dreamers, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a quick little update on my dwarf zebra lionfish, Giselle. As you recall, when I first caught her, as most lionfish, as most lionfish they're not weaned to eat frozen or prepared food. And when you first buy your, do you hear my phone? My ringtone's going off. Uh, when you first bring your fish home, it can be quite stressful as a parent because your fish will not eat what you, <laughs> what, you know, what you serve. And you start going crazy because these fish, in my, <laughs> in my uh, opinion, they are quite expensive. I mean, they're not crazy expensive, but they're not cheap. I got mine for $50, and you know, there's a lot of fish you want to just on you. You want to do all you can to make, fish, make sure this fish survives. And uh, when I brought Giselle home, they said that they were feeding her uh, frozen silver sides with garlic. And of course, she was having none of that. She didn't want any of it. So I'm going to give you some tips on how I got her to eat. And hopefully your lionfish too will have a nice hearty meal. Let's get into the video. This is Giselle, and she's eagerly awaiting to be fed. Now, some tips you could use to feed your stubborn lion is you could use tongs, which are these things, feeding tongs. Uh, you can use a net, which is this thing. And there's also the invisible method, which is basically like a little invisible fishing pole. Uh, I don't have any experience with that. Uh, mine is tong fed. So uh, I'm gonna give you about these two, how I do these two methods. Okay, so I have no experience with the invisible feeding method, but what I think that consists of is you get like a, a clear little pole, and then you use, you put the little uh, food on it. Because sometimes they're scared of the objects like the net and the um, feeding tongs. So I'm going to try this one-handed. What Giselle eats, she eats, at first she eats nothing. They say you could try uh, garlic to help them you know, stimulate the appetite. That did not work. She would only eat live food. And I had to feed her live ghost shrimp. Look, the eyeballs always fall off. Look, the eyeball. I had to feed her live ghost shrimp. And I ended up buying $20 worth, which equaled 125 ghost shrimp. And a lot of them ended up dying in their shrimp tank. So uh, what you could do is when you buy your ghost shrimp, you can freeze them. I know it sounds a little mean, but you freeze them and they stay fresh longer without spoiling. Which is what I did with Giselle. And I don't really feed her ghost shrimp anymore. But um, she does take these liver sides. Obviously not the whole thing. Um, at first she would not. She's looking at it. Uh, they tried, they said to cut the head off and try feeding the head. She doesn't go for the head. They said to try to cut some of the body off and give her that. It didn't work. But she does take the tail. So what I'm going to do is just about up to here, depending on the size of your lionfish. It's gross, it's squishy. Just rip the tail off. Like that. So eat that. Sometimes it'll be a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna try the net method, which basically is you get the net and you put uh, some food in there, like this. And your lionfish will eventually she'll realize that if she goes in the net, she's gonna get fed, and they associate the net with food. Uh, mine obviously doesn't do that. I tried, <laughs> it failed. So uh, I just wanted to show you that one. Anything that basically looks like this, with this type of tail, she will eat. 
and that has tail. I wouldn't recommend hand feeding them because fine fish are venomous and they can sting you. Hey, right over here. Oh, missed. Hey. There you go. It took her about a month to finally learn or finally accept um, frozen food. You hungry too? Give her a moment to eat it and then we'll feed her another krill. Oh, she loves krill. It's one of her favorites and it's actually Evie's favorite too. She'll eat all the krill if you let her. She's a greedy. I'm gonna be doing an updated video on Evie actually because she's gotten really big. Aw, she's a gentle little ill. So chewing on that. It just really takes patience, a lot of patience. Uh, like I think I, said, I mentioned before, it took her a month to finally accept frozen food. So you do want to buy the ghost shrimp, the live uh, ghost shrimp. All right, let's try krill. Now about the thing about krill, <laughs> you want more? Oh, there you go. The thing about krill is that their legs and the eyeballs fall off. <laughs> so sometimes there's eyeballs. What are you doing? You need to eat your fish. She's being, Evie is being a pain in my butt. She's refusing to eat her silver sides. All she wants is krill now. Look at that, the brat. But that's a whole other video. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, the eyeballs and the legs fall off and then there's eyeballs and legs floating on top of my water, which is very annoying. There's little, like, eyeballs in here. Make sure when you feed, they're defrosted. That's what little container's for. I um, defrost them in the container with, a, with um, water from the aquarium. And you want to feed your lion fish about three times a week. Three times, three times a week should do it. And feed them about um, as much as they will eat between three to six krill or you know whatever you feed. They are little piggies and they will overeat. So you just gotta watch what you feed them. And I think that's it for this video. She's already eaten quite a bit. And she still has one more krill to eat, but this one's really tiny. <laughs> oh, Skipper got it. Dang, Skipper! Skipper inhaled that krill. <laughs> That's a whole other video, too. Alright, so that is it, and I hope my uh, tips helped. And I'm sorry if I'm spacey, but I'm getting sick. My throat hurts, I'm not feeling well. But I wanted to make this video. So yeah, just try different parts of your silver side. Whether it be the head, um, the body, the tail. Try different parts. You can try garlic. Again, that didn't work for mine. But it's supposed to help. It's supposed to be irresistible. But I always get the stubborn fish. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope I was able to share some of my experience in feeding my line fish. So your fish can have a nice, big, yummy meal. Alright, so remember, lionfish are friends and not food because people eat them also.